Welcome back guys, Megron here and in today's tutorial we are going to learn step by step how to modeling the TV inside Blender. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's first start with the plane, rotate it on Y axis and scale it also on Y axis. Now extrude it on X axis. Now select all and correct the normal. Now select this face and save it. Now press E to extrude, right click and extrude it along the normal. Now select this edge, this one also. Now press Ctrl B and bevel it. Let's also bevel this edge like that. Now let's put the cursor right here and now let's add the cube. Scale it down. Now let's move it on X axis. Now let's add the, the cylinder, scale it down and let's move it right here and scale it. Now select this face and delete it. Now select all, press E to extrude right click and now extrude it along the normal. Now let's change the pivot point and duplicate it on Y axis also on Z axis. Right now let's insert this face one more time. Now let's select this face. E to extrude, right click and now R S to extrude it along the normal. Right now let's, let's subdivide this face like that. Let's, let's take the knife tool, you can press K to take the knife tool. Let's make the cut right here and press X. Let's do the same thing right here. Now let's select this face, press I and set it a little bit. Now delete this face, select this edge and insert it one more time a little bit and extrude it on Z axis. Now let's scale it on X uh, on Y axis, sorry, and also on X axis. Now press F to fill it. All right, now le let's add a cylinder. Scale it down, and let's duplicate it on Y axis. One more time. Now uh, right click now and shape it auto smooth. Now shift select the cube, press control number pad minus. To make it work, you have first to able the bull tool on add-on. No? So make sure that the bull tool is able. Now let's add the cube. Scale it down and duplicate it on Z axis. Now let's add a basic screw and let's go to edit mode, delete the vertex. Now take the drawing tool and make this drawing like that. Now let's go to data property and let's go to geometry. Now let's scroll down to depth and change the depth. All right now let's, let's add another cube for the connection. Get it down. Let's also add another cube right here. Scale it down. Select this face and scale it down. Now select this edge like that and bevel it. Select this face, insert the face. Now let's extrude it along the normal. Now let's add the cylinder, scale it down. Now let's bevel this face. Now let's press L to select all the vertex and duplicate it on Y axis. Now let's add the cube for the connection and bevel it. 
All right, now let's add the recycle number of vitex 64. Now let's set, scale it down. Now let's exclude it on Z axis. Let's add another cycle. Scale it down. Press F to fit it. Let's exclude it on Z axis. Let's insert this face. Insert one more time. Select this face. Extrude it along the normal. Now let's add the cube. Scale it down and scale it on Y axis. Now let's add the cylinder. Let's move it right here. Bevel this face. Let's also extrude this face and bevel this one last face. All right, now let's add the cube, one last cube, and put it in the back. Let's bevel this face. And that's it, our modelization is ready. Now let's move on to the material. Let's open another windows right here. Let's go on render view. Now let's go to shader editor on this windows. Let's add one material and let's name it men. Right now let's go to edit mode. Let's add another material. Let's call it. I think I'll call it stream. Assign it. Now let's add this picture. Now let's put it into base color. Let's open another windows right here and let's go to UV editor. Now select the face, press U and go to projection from view. Now let's scale the face on UV editor. Now let's put the roughness on material. Now let's go back to the main material and make it black, fully black. Now let's link this material by pressing Ctrl L. Now let's make this object metallic. Now let's select this object. Let's add a new material. Let's make it a little bit black. Let's go to edit mode and select this face. Now let's add a new material, assign it. Now let's go to emission and change the color to green. Now let's go to render setting and check bloom. Now let's change the string. All right, now let's take let's uh, let's add a new material to this object make it black same thing go right here and for this la one last object let's make it metallic and that's it that's it guys this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching see you on my next tutorial bye bye